Hello everyone, welcome to this much awaited video on introduction to normal distribution. I have received a couple of requests on LinkedIn to upload an introductory video on normal distribution and so here we are. Normal distribution is the most important and widely used distribution in statistics, sometimes called the bell curve or the Gaussian curve. It was first discovered by Abraham de Moiver. Before we actually look at a normal distribution, let's know a little bit about probability distributions. So what is probability distribution? It is a mathematical function. It gives the probability of occurrence of different possible outcomes. Such distributions are of two types, discrete probability distribution and continuous probability distribution. Well, do you know what are discrete and continuous data from our first video on data types, right? So, a discrete probability distribution is one where the set of all possible outcomes is discrete. It is characterized by what we call a probability mass function. We will see in a while what exactly is that. In a continuous probability distribution, set of all possible outcomes is continuous and it is generated by having a probability density function. Now, probability mass function is a probability measure. Let's think of a random variable x, which might take possible values of x1, x2, x3, etc. A probability mass function then gives the probabilities of these possible values for the random variable. And this is how it looks like mathematically. Now, probability density function for a random variable x specifies the probability of x falling within a particular range of values. And this is how it looks like mathematically. Here it is assumed that x has an absolutely continuous CDF, which means cumulative distribution function, which means that x can take a value less than or equal to the argument of the function. And if you want to ask what an argument is, an argument is a specific input in the function. It is also known as an independent variable. Saying this, now let's look at a normal distribution. What is a normal distribution? It is a continuous probability distribution defined by just two parameters, mean and standard deviation. We have again learned about these in our central tendency videos, correct? Well, normal distribution is one of the most popular and most extensively used distributions in statistics. As I said, it is described by the mean and the standard deviation mean is where the peak of the density occurs in a normal curve and standard deviation indicates the spread or the girth of the curve here is how a normal distribution curve or a bell curve or a gaussian curve looks like now let's look at the properties of a normal distribution it is very important so a normal distribution is symmetrical about the mean and the mean is denoted by mu we are aware of that the total area under the curve is equal to 1. The mean divides the area of the curve into two equal halves, which are mirror images of one another. It is completely determined by its mean and standard deviation or variance. And the most important thing we should know about a normal distribution is that the mean, median and mode are equal. In the normal curve that you see on the screen, you can see the x-axis, the horizontal axis, units, which are one, two, and three standard deviations apart on either side of the mean. It also shows different percentages of total area under the curve. This is known as the 68, 95, 99.7 rule in statistics. This is an empirical rule, verifiable by observation which says that approximately 68, 95, and 99.7% of the values lie within 1, 2, and 3 standard deviations of the mean respectively. So this is about getting familiar with normal curve. We will surely have more such videos on different concepts that you wish to know about apart from the regular ones that I will keep uploading for you. Hope you enjoyed knowing about the bell curve today. Thank you very much for your time. Please share your feedback and comments or touch base with me on LinkedIn for specific requests. Have a relaxing time now. Bye-bye.